Hey guys, welcome back to StartupToast.com and today we have another entrepreneur, Marcus from Parapools.com. Hey Marcus, how are you? Good buddy, how are you? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. Good. So before we begin, so we'll give them three seconds to subscribe to our channel. Can we give them? Sure. Uh, let's count three. Okay. One, One, two, two and three. three. Thanks a lot for the subscription guys. Okay, let's begin. Let's okay. okay, so the first question, how did this idea begin and uh, when did this start? Um, we've had this idea for about six years now and it um, came into play about three years ago okay. and we started franchising in January, okay. like three or four months ago. Okay. Yeah. Brilliant. How can someone take a franchise and how, what is the process? Um, so they usually have to get to know the, um, the, about the brand or what they want to get into, right? Like this might not be for everybody just because you have the same amount of money. You want to make sure something fits with your lifestyle, right? Something that makes you happy. Like most people go into a business for themselves because they like, you know, like they might like restaurants or they might like ice cream or they might like this. This you don't have to like pools, but you might want to work for yourself, work outside. That's where this would kind of pertain. So I'd say you want to find something that makes you get out of your day to day and into what what you really like, right? Something okay. that doesn't, yeah. What does it cost for them to take a franchise? Um, um, with us, it just uh, start at a base territory is uh, 56,000. And that includes everything except for the vehicle. So it's very, very simple. Ah, brilliant. Yeah. Uh, do you know when can they uh, become profitable? Um, yeah, I don't know if we're allowed to answer that. Depends, depends. yeah, it depends. So yeah, profitable is usually, we want it within the first six months, right? Okay. So if, if not sooner. with. Our brand, it's um, in most service brands, it's low entry, so the overhead is low, so they can kind of recoup their money pretty quickly. Ah, yeah, br brilliant. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what else can I ask? So, where are you located? And uh, yeah, yeah. So we're out of Vancouver, and we have, um, like I said, we just started. We have five locations. We have two in Vancouver, one in Burlington that's opening, and then two in the states. Okay. Yeah. When, when someone takes your franchise, what are the services that you can give them? Um, so we take them right from start to finish, right from when they put down the deposit, through the training, right into the field, and away they go. So there's nothing left on board, and all the support along the way. Uh, awesome. Yeah. So you've been in this business since uh, six years, right? Uh, no, I have was, I founded some other brands as well, so probably about eight, uh, eight years now, yeah. Okay, yeah. So, so this for, is one of them. Yeah. For someone starting off who's yeah. a young entrepreneur, what is the yeah. biggest tip that you can give them? Don't list, don't put up with people's shit and don't, or like just do what you want. Don't, everybody's going to tell you this is the best way to do it or do this or don't do that. Don't listen to do, you have your own vision. Don't listen to them. Like do your own thing. And people say, oh, you should do this. And that's not going to work. And just ignore them. Less is more. Don't say anything. Just do it. Yeah. That's what I say. Because if you don't do it, you'll be kicking yourself being, well, I should have done it. I should have tried this. I should try that. So that's all I can say. Yeah. yeah. That was a brilliant tip from Marcus and, so and a great the best tip. <laughs> and a great conversation with Marcus from Potterpools.com. Yeah. Until next time, guys. See ya. Bye bye. Yeah. Welcome back to startuptools.com. Do I have to yell like that? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> okay, did it close? <laughs> I'll add you for the blooper. Okay, the blooper reel. <laughs> <laughs> My throat's scratchy. I don't want to scream. It's okay. I'm very soft and tender. I don't know. <laughs>